Good day, good afternoon, uh, good morning to everybody. Hope everybody is in line. I see we still have a lot of people joining the meeting, so we will wait a little bit just uh, to see if uh, some other people uh, are uh, joining uh, since we had a lot of uh, uh, registrations for uh, this uh, webinar. Okay, hope everybody is uh, listening to me. We start the meeting even if uh, uh, we still have uh, some people joining in. I have seen a lot of uh, names in uh, the list of attendees, a lot of uh, familiar names. Uh, just a quick introduction uh, before starting with this uh, webinar, which is uh, to inform you that uh, uh, this presentation is uh, meant to be as uh, a corporate presentation of uh, the Molteni Group. So some of you are probably familiar with the most of the topics that we are going to discuss in this meeting and uh, uh, possibly uh, already know some of the things. Uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, we will try to give you as much uh, information as possible, especially for a starter or uh, people who just joined our, our structure, our organization recently, without uh, having the opportunity to, to have uh, a full uh, training before, uh, before starting. Uh, I will try not to, to read the, the chat, uh, uh just not to be uh confused about the presentation uh just give me a hint someone of you just writing if everybody is properly listening so if someone can just confirm in the chat okay we listen to you that's great that's great dear ciao Okay, perfect. So as I say, the most of you and uh, the ones just writing to me are probably familiar with most of the topics we are going to discuss today. I will try to be quite quick because uh, you know that you have a lot of uh, webinars in uh, this period. So I will try to condense as much as possible all the information in order to give you also some uh, time at the end of the presentation in order to make some, uh, to play some questions in case needed. Let's get started. Uh, the name of uh, this format is Let's Get Started because as I said, it's uh, a corporate presentation in order to introduce uh, the main characteristics uh, the main information regarding uh, uh, our company. As you know, the company is a group of uh, four companies. Molteni Group is one of uh, the biggest group in Italy for, uh, 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 for furniture production. We are located in north of Italy where most of uh, the big brands in the world of design are uh, located, or the most uh, 
uh, big brands uh, of uh, high-end uh, design. Uh, the Molteni Group is a group of four companies. It's one of uh, the biggest in Italy, still 100% uh, family owned by the uh, Molteni family. The group is composed of uh, four companies uh, that you see in uh, the screen in front of you. Molteni specialized in uh, production of furniture, production and commercialization trade of uh, residential furniture for uh, the complete house uh, setting. Dada specialized in kitchen furnishings. Unifor and Citerio specialized in office furnishings uh, with uh, for Citerio also an home furnishing uh, collection. All the four companies are totally independent, all located in Italy, in the north of Italy, in the area where the main, the headquarter is in, uh, in Brianza. All of them with an internal production, offices, uh, uh, sales, sales structure, and everything located in the north of Italy. Uh, which means uh, very easy for uh, all of the company management and the family who's uh, still uh, working uh, actively in uh, different fields, in different sectors of uh, the companies, uh, uh, to have a full control of all uh, the company activities. Uh, all the companies are quite independent uh, from uh, a production point of view and uh, uh, structural organization. Dada, at the beginning of this year, has been fully incorporated in Monteni. We still keep the production facilities uh, in uh, Mesero, which is uh, still uh, in uh, the same uh, North Italy area, but uh, it, it has been uh, incorporated uh, in the Monteni group, but production is still located in a different production plant. All the companies have, as we said, their own production, uh, facilities and there is a very strong collaboration in all the companies when it comes to control production. Control production which is a huge and important part of our uh, uh, of our production and we will see step by step what we mean with the control production and which are specifically all the areas where we are active in contract. Besides these four companies uh, located in this area, we have a fifth place, which is mainly dedicated to contract activity, presentation of mock-ups, special events, which is very close to here, meaning that all the company companies are easily reachable in a very short distance by all the member, uh, members of the company. We have branch offices located in different parts of the world, in the US, in France, the UK, China, Hong Kong, India, United Arab Emirates, Qatar, Singapore, Australia. All of these branches are operating branches from a commercial point of view, because as we said, all the production of the companies is 100% made in Italy in the four locations that we have seen at the beginning. The company is active and present in more than 80 countries in the world with a retail network, which is for Multani and Dada about 700, 700 800 active sales points, which are divided in different retail typologies. And of course, we are present in the same markets with the a distribution and with the, all the contrast activities directly. We will focus in this meeting mainly on Molteni and Dada, the two brands which are in uh, which have the same retail philosophy, the two brands which are dedicated to the residential world. And uh, with the Dada and Molteni, we share, in most cases, the same sales points and the same retail network. We will start with a quick timeline about the history of the company and the group. Uh, the company was founded in 1934 by Angelo and Giuseppina Molteni. 
In uh, the location where today our headquarters is, uh, in Giussano, in uh, the heart of Brianza. As we said, Brianza is uh, a very active, a very uh, rich area in north of Italy where a lot of uh, uh, companies are located. Uh, the district is uh, particularly specialized in uh, furniture production, uh, which means that also all the facilities, all the supply chain is easily accessible in a very, uh, in a very small territory, meaning that the fact of having a 100% made in Italy uh, production, it's made easier thanks to this uh, supply chain network which is so easily reachable and allows us to keep also very high quality standard. Also because all the different checks of the different production phases are um, easily at hand. So the company was founded in 1934. The activity started with a small laboratory for the production of classical traditional furniture. Uh, mainly focused in uh, wood production, the skill and the know-how of the company has its roots uh, in uh, the woodworking technique. So classical furniture mainly for bedrooms. Uh, Angelo Molteni was uh, a very smart uh, uh, entrepreneur, besides being a very, very good uh, carpenter and uh, millworker. He started his activity with uh, his wife and in a very short time, the company grew very fast. Grew very fast in the sense that uh, in 1947, the company already had more than 60 people working here. So starting to have, to have dimensions which were far from being a small laboratory. Of course, uh, uh, the Second World War stopped, blocked all the activities. So. Uh, there was a, a temporary block, uh, even if the company could survive uh, with uh, alternative activities. Immediately after the war, the business restarted uh, with all the reconstruction and the economic boom. The company restarted uh, its production and uh, started to grow, to grow again. In the 50s, Angelo Molteni realized that it was time to make an important change. The company was no more a small laboratory. He needed to invest more in the activity. He decided to buy machineries from, uh, from Germany, uh, numerically controlled machineries to start an industrial production, thus moving the typology of production from a craftsmanship production to a real industry. Uh, the company at that time already had uh, something like 200 people working uh, here in uh, the location in, uh, in Giussano and continued uh, its growth. Uh, of course, uh, um, growing the production, expanding the range of products, uh, having a full production of uh, furniture for a uh, whole uh, the house uh, with the exception of uh, kitchens. Um, and still having this special specialization in the woodworking technique. Until 20 years ago, the company used to produce the veneer used for the production of furniture internally. So the expertise of the people working here was uh, still very focused in uh, woodworking. And still today in our company, in our factory, we have uh, an area which is dedicated to the craftsmanship and the woodworking to the, uh, technique in working the different typologies of wood that we use for our internal production. But at, uh, so at this time we had about 200 people working in the company, but Angelo Molteni decided to further expand its activity. Uh, the 60s were very, uh, very intense years uh, where a lot of uh, new things uh, were happening, so a lot of investments, a lot of new ideas. Uh, the climate in Italy was uh, a climate of a rebirth uh, after the difficult years of the war and uh, the economic boom was uh, really booming in order to, uh, to involve uh, the companies to really invest a lot. 
So Angelo Molteni decided to further differentiate his business and he decided to make an abrupt change in its production, something which was quite surprising since the company was doing very well. The request on the market was very high, especially on the domestic market at the time. But in 1968, Angelo Molteni met Luca Meda, who was the first art director of the company. And at that time, the company decided to switch from a very classical production to design. As we said, a very abrupt change, considering the success that the company was having, a risky decision, but at the same time, it was a winning choice because at that time there were not many companies involved in design. So in a time range of six months, the production here at our headquarters was totally changed and switched from classical production to uh, design production. And we started our adventure in the world of design. In the same period, uh, Angelo Molteni decided to expand even more his activity and he decided to buy two other companies, Unifor and Citerio. At the beginning with Citerio it was a participation and then the company was fully acquired by the group and start to be uh, active also in the office furniture business. Ten years later, same decision, similar decision, when Angelo Molteni decided to, uh, when uh, the Molteni family decided to buy also Dada. And they expanded the activity from uh, office and residential furniture also to the expertise in, uh, in, the, kitchen, uh, in the kitchen business. So we will see later in detail, which was a little bit the history of uh, Dada. But when Angelo Molteni decided to invest and to start producing also in kitchens, he perfectly knew that he needed to start with the structure, skills, know-how and people able to produce kitchen in order to have a production for all the brands in, uh, in his group to be at the same high top quality level of production. So at the end of the 70s, uh, the group was uh, complete, uh, as it is today, with all uh, the four companies running and active uh, in uh, the different specific uh, fields. And all of them starting strongly the activity also in contract. Uh, the business in contract started in this period, and today uh, contract activity is uh, for the group a key uh, a key for success, uh, one of the most important realizations uh, and uh, a, an important part uh, of, our, uh, of our global turnover. The years after have been uh, uh, dedicated to the growth of the distribution network. In terms of retail, Italy in the 80s was already almost satirized with a distribution network all over, crossing all over the Italian country. Consider that uh, uh, today we still have more than 200 active dealers uh, carrying Molteni and Dada. Um, the company decided to invest in the export markets, starting from the closer markets, so starting from European markets, and then dedicating also a lot of uh, investments to the overseas markets. Uh, during this process, uh, there was uh, another very important uh, decision uh, from the family. When uh, in 2004, while the group was already completed and all the activities running, the family decided that uh, there, were, there was uh, still uh, a lot of possibilities uh, uh, a lot of um, room to grow in terms of upholstery production. Uh, upholstery has always been part of the production of the Molteni group, but until at that time, uh, it was just a complement to the rest of the production. In 2004, the family decided to invest strongly in people, machineries, technologies, in order to increase and maximize the level and the quality of our upholstery production. 
So the new upholstery division was founded in 2004. And uh, at that time, uh, we started to have a very complete line uh, covering all the residential uh, the residential production. Today, Molseni and Ada together are able to furnish completely the house with the exception of bathrooms. Uh, the years uh, after 2000 uh, have been uh, strongly dedicated uh, to increase uh, our presence uh, on uh, the different markets, but especially they have been uh, focused on uh, communication, image uh, and marketing activities. Uh, the company focus has always been uh, production, high quality products, well designed and perfectly manufactured uh, with uh, the most uh, uh, cutting edge uh, technologies uh, and uh, hardware. Very often the company decides uh, to create our own hardware to design and patent uh, specific technologies. Uh, and that's a light motive for uh, the production of uh, all the brands of the company. The idea was uh, of the family was uh, and still is uh, today to have a production which is at the top level of the market, uh, which doesn't mean only to have a beautiful product, but means uh, to have a beautiful, well-made and uh, high-performing uh, production range. So the investment continues in this sense. Uh, uh, we realized uh, in 2000, in the years after 2000, that what we were missing and we had to increase was uh, communication. The product was there, the quality was there. It was time to be able to communicate it in the most proper way. And so that's why the company decided to invest strongly in uh, the marketing division. Consider that still today the company is run with the, uh, the management of uh, the Molteni family, who is uh, present in the different uh, companies of the group, in all the companies of the group, group uh, with the some family members. Today we have a second and third generation of the Molteni family active uh, in the business. And when we mean uh, uh, when we say active, it doesn't mean uh, simply just a way of saying, it means uh, that uh, the family is really involved in all uh, the key decisions and all uh, the key uh, developments of uh, each company in uh, the different uh, fields uh, of uh, starting from uh, production, product development, uh, management, uh, sales uh, and marketing. Uh, all the marketing activities uh, has been, have been increasing, uh, trying to create uh, an easily uh, recognizable brand image, group brand image. Uh, everything has been uh, further reinforced in these uh, directions in uh, the last uh, five years, let's say. In 2015, uh, the company celebrated 80 years of activity. Uh, it was a big uh, celebration, uh, which uh, was uh, celebrated also with uh, the opening of our corporate museum, which is uh, currently under, uh, under renovation, uh, and we still have a lot of news also on this uh, side. So in 2015, we concluded the, the celebrations for uh, the uh, 80 years of activity with uh, the opening of our corporate museum. Museum, a first presentation at the Villa Reale in Milano, and then the corporate museum was brought here in Giussano, uh, where it became our uh, corporate uh, museum, which is now going to be moved in another area of our compound, but uh, it will still remain in, uh, in our facilities in our, uh, at our headquarters. 2015 was also important because it was the year when we met the company, the family met and involved for the first time Vincent van Doysen, in which started his collaboration with the, with the, the Molteni Group, designing a collection, the Glissmaster collection for us. 
One year later, in 2016, the family decided to appoint Vincent van Doysen as the creative director of the group. And at this moment, really a lot in terms of image and company presentation and branding changed. Finally, the company moved from a company with a top range product, well done and a nice collection, to be started to be a real lifestyle concept company. Uh, Vincent Van Doysen is today responsible since 2016 of uh, all our image and branding, the coordinate image of uh, Molteni and Ada, all the showrooms we have in the world, uh, the flagship stores we have in the world are designed under his guidelines. All the catalogs, the communication materials are made under Vincent van Doysen guidelines. What makes this change so special is really the fact that today, whenever you enter a multi data flagship store, you immediately recognize it because uh, you immediately recognize uh, the signature of Vincent van Doysen, this uh, complete uh, and harmonious uh, lifestyle concept where everything is uh, fully coordinated, starting from uh, the choice of uh, the flooring to the ceilings, uh, the decoration, everything has to be fully harmonic in order to present a concept which is exactly the same that you find at our headquarter in our corporate showroom. So these last years have been extremely important to create uh, uh, this full concept. Uh, a period where the company also invested a lot in terms of uh, distribution network. We have been investing a lot in order to create a consistent and uh, coherent distribution network. As we said, with a lot of flagship stores, consider that today the uh, Multeni Rada have more than 50 flagship stores around the world and consolidating also the distribution network regarding uh, all the other dealers that we have uh, in, uh, in the company. Of course, the values of the group still remain the same values that we had at the beginning of, uh, of the company when the company was founded. So tradition is still the key point of our activity. Uh, woodworking, attention to detail, craftsmanship are still part of our current production. Even if today we have an industrial production, the attention to detail and many of our products still have a final production phase or some of the production phases which are pure craftsmanship. Um, besides of that, uh, of course, a tradition in woodworking, research and technology. Uh, consider that uh, still today, the group invests uh, something like 4% uh, of the total turnover in the research and technology, buying new machineries, new technologies, uh, trying new ways, experimenting new materials. Uh, design is, of course, uh, a key point uh, of all our assets, and we will see later in detail all the different collaborations that we are carrying on today. Uh, all of these are contributing to create the image of the company today where we have a, a clear branding positioning in the market and where we can offer a production, a production line, a production collection where quality and reliability are key points. So everything from design, manufacturing technique, craftsmanship, research, technology, all of these departments, all these specific areas of our production work together in order to create a product collection which can guarantee durability, reliability to the product, 
and today working harder and harder daily to have a more sustainable production. Here you see a general overview of our business uh, lately, where you see that the uh, business is today quite balanced in between contract activity and uh, residential business. So residential business, which is mainly focused on the Molteni and other with uh, the, the, the flagship stores, uh, shopping shop and dealers we have around the world. So 55% of our turnover, of our group turnover today is uh, uh, dedicated to uh, contract activity and all the rest about 45% to retail mass production. Uh, of course, the presence in Italy is uh, still very strong. Uh, today, we, as we said, we have more than 200 active and performing dealers in Italy, where the distribution is uh, uh, quite well organized. 26% um, is in the rest of Europe. All the rest is dedicated to what we call the uh, fastest growing markets, the emerging markets. So a growth which is running very fast. In, uh, in Asia and uh, in the Americas. Quite quickly, this is uh, an overview of our structure today. We have, uh, this uh, data is uh, still back to the end of uh, 2018. I guess that uh, today we have around 1,000 people working for the group. Uh, 1,000 people, meaning that uh, most of the people working in Italy, about 10-12% uh, of these people working in the different branch offices uh, that we have around the world. Uh, as we said, uh, all uh, the companies have uh, their own uh, production plant uh, with more than 174,000 square meters uh, of uh, production. Each company has uh, is a home R&D department, so develop, developing new products and new ideas and new technologies every year to offer to our clientele always a cutting edge avant-garde production. We now focus on the different brands which are part of the group, starting from Molteni and then, as I said, we will mainly focus on the two brands, Molteni and Ada. Molteni is uh, the first company which started in 1934 with the production of wooden furniture, mainly uh, dedicated to bedroom area. Today, we have a wide range of products, uh, which goes from systems, which are still one of the core businesses of our activity, but we also have uh, uh, almost 30% of our turnover arriving from the upholstery. And that's an important point because we have seen that the investments in terms of upholstery production started and started have been increased in 2004 when the company decided, when the family decided to invest a lot more in upholstery production. And if you consider that at that time, 2004, the turnover of the company in uh, upholstery was about 4%. Uh, you see that once again, uh, the family have, has been uh, extremely smart uh, in its investments uh, in order to get a production uh, that uh, in uh, less than, uh, in more or less uh, 15 years uh, is uh, today at 30% of the total turnover. Of course, uh, besides uh, systems and upholstery, we have uh, a wide range of loose uh, furniture, including uh, table, chairs, uh, uh, single units, uh, which complete uh, the, total, uh, the total range of our production. So you see that uh, uh, more or less almost 40% of our production is uh, today in systems which are divided into systems for the day area and systems for the night area. Basically, wardrobes and systems for living areas. 
even if uh, we will see when uh, going through the overall collection, uh, today the division in between day and night area is uh, no longer so strict and so uh, straight as it used to be in the past. Molteni, the Molteni group, uh, is uh, also very often involved uh, in uh, uh, partnerships uh, with other brands. Uh, one of the partnerships uh, is uh, the partnership we have uh, with the Vitra. Not everybody knows that Molteni is uh, the official distribution, the distributor of uh, the Vitra Home Collection for all the territory of uh, Italy and Australia. It means that very often, or very often, most of the stores we have in Italy carry Molteni, Dada, and Vitra the same. Uh, Vitra and Artec, which was acquired by, by Vitra. This is uh, due to a collaboration that Unifor used to have with uh, Vitra uh, since uh, the beginning of its activity. The partnership has been so successful that, that a, a design company like Vitra decided to propose to the Molteni family to become distributor of the Vitra Home Collection in Italy easy to share the same distribution network with the, the same typology of uh, products and same uh, level of uh, uh, clients. The second company of the group uh, that we are going to see is uh, Dada. Dada uh, kitchen, uh, kitchen Furniture. Dada joined the group in 1979, but it was an already existing company founded in 1926. And we will go over quite quickly also uh, through the history of uh, Dada. Kitchen uh, with, uh, with a very high-end uh, design, very high-end quality, renowned all over, uh, all over Europe and all over the world for uh, the quality and uh, the uh, high design of uh, the kitchen collection with the quite wide kitchen collection of which we will have an overview. I go very fast, just very quickly talking about Unifor that we have seen has been incorporated in the group in 1979. Also in this case, it was an already existing company since 1969 and in, uh, uh, and in 79, uh, the family decided to expand uh, the activity also in uh, uh, the office of furniture. Of course, uh, Unifor as uh, an independent organization for uh, uh, whatever goes, of course, uh, production, product development, but also distribution, uh, since uh, Office uh, mainly works, uh, almost exclusively works uh, on uh, bigger projects and uh, contract activity. Uh, one, uh, Unifor was uh, the company of the group, uh, which uh, first started to approach the, uh, the export markets and starting this activity also with opening uh, the first branch offices in the world that then, uh, then expanded also to the other brands of the group. We then have Citerio, same time of uh, uh, Unifor, the company acquired the Citerio, another company specialized in office partitions, including also a, uh, a small home collection. Uh, another company already existing, and this is a key point because you see that whenever the family decided to approach a new market, a new specific field of production, decided to do that in a very smart way. So acquiring companies with a very well organized distribution and uh, with all the know-how and the skills to produce in each specific field of the, the furniture production. So nothing comes just from scratch. Every decision has to be very smartly and very 
uh, carefully uh, carefully taken. So that's why today the company can count on, the, on a group of four different companies, each one specialized in its field and still keeping the same high quality standards. In our journey today, as we have seen, we will also have an overview of the control division. Starting from the 80s, the company decided to expand its activity. So besides the mass production of high-end design products, the company started to approach some big projects all over the world. Today, the contract division of uh, the Molteni Group uh, is, uh, as we have seen, 55% of the global turnover of the group, uh, with uh, uh, a contract division which is uh, shared, divided in different specific sectors. So the expertise of our contract division goes in different fields of contract. Let's say that today there is no project that the Molteni Group is not able to approach. Uh, we have today such an expertise which allows us to face any kind of contract project, of contract activity, starting from the more classical, the most classical designs, up to the most contemporary, modern, and minimal design. When we talk about pure contract activity, we talk about projects which are carried out with a total customized, totally customized production. Uh, of course, with the different designs, different styles collaborations with some of the most important hotel chains in the world for what goes to hospitality. So realizing the interiors of hotels, of the Starwood hotels, Park Hyatt, Hilton hotels, so some of the most important hotel chains in the world where Molteni can realize the full interior design of old bedrooms and the public areas, or sometimes only partial. In this case, the design and the furniture included in this project is usually totally custom made, even though we also have a part of our contract activity which can be carried on also with some uh, um, mass production items, especially in hospitality. Today, there is a trend where a big hotel, a big project uh, always uh, or likes to include also some iconic pieces which are part of the mass production, the mass collection, the, the serial collection of uh, Molteni. Of Molteni, such as, uh, for example, some of the pieces of our heritage collection or a Gioponti collection. Here you see some of the examples in hospitality with uh, a list of references. Of course, the list is uh, continuously evolving. Part of our contract activities, of course, work environments, uh, where especially Unifor and Citerio are involved with uh, uh, workstations, uh, offices, uh, partitions uh, for uh, different uh, uh, top brands uh, companies. Here we have uh, some of uh, the latest examples and the reference list where, uh, of course, executive offices, uh, small offices, uh, partitions, uh, uh, special uh, office uh, partitions uh, with uh, um, dedicated uh, uh, safety systems, everything made by, uh, by Unifor and Citerio. Of course, as we said at the beginning, the collaboration inside the group when it comes to contract activity, it's really very strong. There is a total synergy between the different brands in order to, um, to, to have a production which is fully coordinated and each company can express itself in what is the expertise in the different fields.
something we are very proud of uh, in terms of a contra uh, contract production, contract business, uh, is also the cultural spaces. We have here some examples, some uh, uh, important key references for us, some others more recent. You can see here, for example, the Teatro La Fenice in Venice, which uh, when, uh, it got, uh, when it burned uh, by accident, uh, the reconstruction uh, and uh, the, uh, the architect who was involved in the reconstruction was Aldo Rossi, who involved the Molteni, who realized, which realized that all of the wooden parts that you see also in this picture. So a very classical design, a very classical and uh, uh, expertise in craftsmanship to realize all these uh, wooden uh, wall coverings, uh, wooden uh, wooden parts, uh, which are still part of the expertise uh, of uh, the control division today. But at the same time, some more recent examples of uh, contract activities, like, for example, the Fondazione Giacomo Giacomo Feltrinelli, that I warmly invite you as soon as uh, finally we will be able to start traveling again. Uh, we, of course, uh, we wait for you in Italy as uh, soon as possible. We, we, as soon as possible, we wait for you in uh, Milano. And uh, if you have the chance uh, to be in Milano, I suggest you to go and visit uh, the Fondazione Feltrinelli, which is, an, uh, first of all, uh, an amazing architecture by Herzog and Moron. And inside uh, this uh, amazing uh, building, uh, all uh, the interiors uh, have been uh, made by uh, Molteni Contract Division. Uh, you see, for example, in the picture, this uh, pyramidal uh, bookcase, uh, all custom made, uh, including all the furniture that you see on the sides, uh, including all the executives of offices, including a working kitchen for the people working there. So two totally different styles in terms of uh, uh, realizations, which really show the expertise of uh, the Molteni Country Division and the capability to switch very, very uh, slightly from one typology, one style to another with no boundaries. Because really the expertise of the Country Division goes, uh, is totally open-minded. Another important part of the contract activity of the group is a residential business, where in many countries today, today it's something which started from the Americas and Asia, but today it's becoming more and more common also in the European countries, including Italy big uh, architectural projects, uh, tall uh, buildings, uh, skyscrapers uh, designed by the most uh, famous architects and designers in the world, where these uh, luxury apartments are usually sold already including uh, wardrobes and kitchens, and Molteni offers uh, the complete setting of uh, these uh, kitchens and wardrobes. This uh, collaboration is uh, particularly important uh, for the Molteni group because uh, it's not limited to including uh, in these uh, renowned buildings uh, uh, wardrobes and kitchens, but it's also a way to keep alive our relationship with some of the most important architects and designers uh, in, uh, worldwide which is a collaboration which is uh, always uh, uh, interesting and inspiring for us uh, to bring also new ideas, uh, not only for the contract activity, but also for uh, the mass of production. Here we have uh, some of the most recent uh, examples. Other fields uh, where our contract division is involved is retail boutiques. And uh, uh, this, talking about uh, this uh, contract activity is uh, for us uh, very important because uh, we realized over the years uh, that very often uh, most of our partners uh, in retail are not so familiar with this uh, side of the business of Molteni. 
which is not just a way of uh, telling to the world how good uh, and uh, how great we are in uh, making this project. It's uh, just a way to communicate to you the capability and the possibilities uh, that can open up for each one of you also in a field uh, which is the one of contract. Of course, uh, uh, most of uh, the people who are attending to this webinar today are part of uh, stores uh, work in uh, retail shops, but we think that uh, there is always an opportunity with the, all the contacts uh, you daily have uh, with architects uh, and designers uh, to start uh, talking about a project, about, about uh, a small boutique hotel, uh, a restaurant, uh, Consider that there is a side of the contract business, which is not the specific, the real custom-made contract, but it's what we call a soft contract, which can include smaller projects. As I mentioned, for example, a restaurant, 100 tables, 500 chairs. It's a small contract project. Always consider that Molteni is there. And never think that the collection, the serial production that we have and that you see in all our catalogs is too expensive for this kind of project. Of course, whenever we work on the contract field, there is a lot of possibility to customize totally custom-made projects, but also to customize some collections. And easy to understand for everybody that customizing one wardrobe for an industrial production can be a complex work. Customizing 100 units or even 50 units all the same for a small hotel or a, a, a student's apartment building, it's something we can do. And trust me that talking about this activity, uh, a lot of your colleagues, a lot of retail shops arrived with interesting proposals because they never consider this potential. Knowing Molteni only for Molteni and other for the retail business that they were used to work in, they never considered that we can be the perfect partner also for uh, this kind of projects. Um, we close uh, this uh, section related to contract, uh, talking uh, about the other different uh, uh, opportunities uh, in contract, uh, which is uh, retail boutiques. Uh, I think that most of you know that uh, uh, Molteni is uh, the supplier of all the Cartier boutiques in the world, for example, all of the new shops, uh, like Cartier, as well as the renovation of all the existing shops is made by Molteni, meaning all the cabinets, the showcases, and today also including some serial products of our collections, some armchairs, tables. So all the boutiques of Cartier in the world are made by Molteni. In our country division, we have a specific division, which is a Cartier division, working all the year only for the renovation and creation of furniture for new boutiques, Cartier boutiques, which means a very specific expertise also in this field, because you can imagine that the creating furniture for jewelry stores means to have a kind of furniture where every detail has to be carefully taken care, where there are very specific logics for the way of using lights in order to highlight and put in evidence all the jewelry, very sophisticated alarm systems. So a field a collaboration, which is also giving us a lot of input and inspiration to develop our own collections. An expertise that made Molteni renowned for retail jewelry boutiques. So we also have in our company a division which is dedicated to Tiffany boutiques in the world. Just an example, still in Milano, next time you will be there, 
the flagship store, Tiffany flagship store in Piazza Duomo was made by Molteni as well. So different kind of collaborations in the jewelry field for the production and delivery of furniture for jewelry. Of course, the contract division is active in all the production process, which goes from the first design that we usually receive by our partners up to the delivery. So project management from the beginning up to the delivery of the furniture. We have a marine division, which is uh, uh, active in uh, cruise ships, cruise lines, collaborations with the Costa Crociere, Carnival, some of the top uh, uh, cruise lines, big yachts, so another very, very specific expertise in the world of marine, something which is not so common to find in a company and that probably most of you do not even imagine starting from the production you can see in your, in your store has retail mass production of the Multini Group. And then public buildings of any kind. We mentioned about our collaborations with the designers and architects, which are extremely important in terms of contract activity, but also uh, for our retail production, our master production. Uh, we started our adventure, our venture in the world of design as we, we have seen in 1968 when Luca Meda joined the company to be the first uh, art director of the company. Today we continue this venture in the world of design with our new creative director Vincent van Doysen who's uh, uh, managing, uh, as we said, all of the image and uh, uh, the branding the, uh, under his guidelines we develop for our marketing tools today, our way of uh, presenting the brand uh, to the world. But at the same time, he's also so important to uh, be the responsible of the collection that we still have today, meaning that uh, uh, the company continues to work and collaborate with the many different designers. Uh, the collection of Montaigne and Dada today is uh, designed by some of the most famous and most important architects and designers in uh, the world uh, scenario. You see here some of them which are all winners of the Pritzker Prize. So the most important prize in architecture and uh, uh, Molteni, the Molteni group is one of the, the few ones which can uh, say to have uh, such important collaborations. Collaborations that sometimes started for projects and then also ended up with the spin-off of uh, some, um, some specific projects for our uh, catalogs and for our collection. Here you have some examples, historical examples, the collaboration of Gioponti. We will have the opportunity to talk about that later, another recent collaboration for us, even if we are talking about one of the masters of architecture and designs in Italy, whose main activity was in the 50s, that was focused in the 50s. So, some uh, illustrious uh, collaborations over the years, up to the most recent uh, collaborations, Ron Ghilad, Rodolfo Dordoni, Patricia Urchiola, uh, and uh, many others. Uh, here we just listed uh, some of them in order to have a full list. Why we think and we feel that these collaborations are so important and we consider them one of the assets of the company. The fact of having so many illustrious collaborations with architects and designers, first of all, is always an injection of new ideas and new challenges for us. 
Secondly, it allows uh, the Molteni group to have a collection uh, where we have the guideline of a creative director, which uh, collaborates with us, uh, help us uh, under his guideline to have a coherent presentation, but where in the same collection, we have the possibility to have uh, a piece of history of a design. I think that today, more than ever, our clients are really interested to have customized and exclusive spaces, exclusive houses. With the Molteni collection, you have the possibility to create an environment, a house for your clients, where in the same living room, you can have pieces of some of the most famous designers in the world. You can have a sofa by Vincent van Duysen, a bookcase by Jean Nouvel, an armchair by Gio Ponti, a coffee table by Rodolfo Dordoni, uh, a carpet by Patricia Orchiola. So a full setting, which is not just a living room is a piece of design history. And we really feel that today, this kind of exclusivity, the idea of having something which is unique is more and more important for uh, the target of clients uh, that we, we all have. That's why uh, under uh, Vincent van Doysen guidelines, so we still continue these uh, collaborations. Of course, I don't want uh, to spoil uh, too much, but of course, uh, Molteni has been working also this year. We were ready for uh, the Salone del Mobile, so a lot of news uh, are coming on the market. And uh, very soon, uh, you will receive an updated version of uh, the webinar calendar where we will be very happy to share with you the latest news of our collection which is definitely the 2020 collection is another interesting very interesting collection it's a spectacular collection and uh, once again the collaboration with the different designers has, has been giving us a lot of uh, possibility to fully express the potential of the company, both in terms of design and aesthetics and in terms of technicalities and research of new solutions and new materials. So we will have, I hope that you will join also the next webinars talking about this. We focus, um, and that's especially for, uh, uh, let's say, the new partners we have, uh, on an overview of the collection of uh, the uh, main brands uh, of our retail uh, activities, so Molteni and Dada. Uh, we already had uh, the opportunity to see this uh, detail uh, of the distribution of the production of uh, Molteni, where we still focus on uh, these uh, four, 40 percent of uh, systems, uh, so an important part of our production, especially in uh, some European countries. Uh, Molteni is uh, really renowned for uh, the quality of the systems uh, that we have, uh, the quality and uh, uh, the variety of systems uh, we have in our collection. But uh, all the rest of the collection is uh, uh, the same, uh, important at the same level, 30% of upholstery with an upholstery collection today, which, has, uh, uh, which is uh, definitely in line with the, all uh, the top brands in uh, the design panorama and a nice collection of loose furniture rarely on the market and not only in Italy but all over the world you will find a company able to give you a full setting a full furnishing uh, collection for uh, to furnish uh, the complete house we will go through the different collections just to give you an idea and I say that this is especially for those who are not so familiar yet with all the Molteni collection, the different typologies of projects and products that we have in the collection. Of course, this overview is not meant to be 
a detailed presentation of the collection. We would need at least five hours to go through all the collections, uh, even if quickly. So we will try to focus on some of the most, uh, the, the, the best seller and the best known collections. Starting from 505, which is a system designed by Luca Meda in 1972, for those who haven't seen it yet, we are also running a nice webinar focusing on the 505 collection, which is our uh, multi design solution webinar. So nice to see, to have a deeper overview of this system. A system which was created, as we said, in 1972 and constantly updated over the years in order to arrive to the collection we have today, constantly updated by Nicola Galizia. A system which allows to create solutions custom made for every client. Here you see, I go quite quickly, some examples of 505. We have started with a big composition, which can be used as a bookcase, storage unit. Uh, we can create a bar uh, corner inside the unit. Multifunctional, it's really the key word about 505. Consider that with this system, you can work and create whatever the customer who comes in the store needs something and apparently you haven't it in the store. You can build and design 505 according to the needs of the client. Here we have a totally different uh, presentation of 505, just uh, a module as a, uh, as a bookcase and a display area. We can integrate the corners for the home office in 505. So what was created to be uh, a system dedicated to, uh, to the living area is today transversal to different areas of the house, starting from the living room, but also arriving to the bedroom area, uh, creating a home office solutions, a nice storage unit, uh, a big solution or a smaller version, as you see it here. We can do with the 505 a small sideboard unit, develop a vertical way or horizontal way, uh, so, uh, freestanding or suspended to the wall, so one of the key systems. Today, Molteni has uh, three systems for the day area. This one is the first one, 505, and it's still an important part of our sales. Second one is a password, another way of interpreting the space, another solution for the needs of your clients. Also, in this case, a possibility to customize, but moving from some standard pieces, cabinets and pieces, which can be connected and combined together to create a, uh, a solution for each client. Also, in that case, solutions that can be dedicated to the living room, to the TV solution, just to create a sideboard for the dining room or for the living room. Here we have a nice picture taken from uh, the 2019 Salon where you see this uh, bookcase uh, part of uh, the password collection, but uh, which can be definitely transversal to different collections that we have uh, in our range. Uh, a bookcase system which can be customized to the millimeter in width. We have grid, another totally different alternative for the living uh, for the living area, which works with the sort of a boiserie construction, working on wall paneling, which can be fitted and equipped in this way, in different ways to be used for the living room, but also here we have a big composition, but also an interesting solution for the night area. So 
As I meant, I'm going very quickly because we have to go through all of the collection and this is not meant to be a product training, but just an introduction to the variety and wide range of Molteni. Here we have, as we said, the grid uh, that you find in our living systems uh, catalog and price list, but which is at the end a totally transversal product perfectly successful and a very nice solution in bedroom configurations. We then have all the dining here, so with the tables and chairs. We have some in this picture, for example, you see some of the iconic pieces that we have in our collection today, Arc Table by Norman Foster, also, this uh, an example of uh, uh, the capability of the company to face many different projects and different materials, uh, since uh, the base uh, is a base uh, in uh, a light concrete uh, composition. So, uh, a new technology developed uh, by uh, Multen in order to realize uh, this uh, table uh, under the design of uh, Foster and Partners. Or here we have. Uh, um, the diamond table by Patricia Orchiola, also in this case a very special construction with uh, a lot of technology and uh, um, an engineering work uh, in order to make real uh, a design by Patricia Orchiola who wanted to have uh, this very special uh, diamond shaped legs uh, for the table. So uh, she worked uh, closely with uh, our R&D in order to find uh, the best engineering of uh, uh, this leg in order to keep the shape, uh, but make it possible in terms of industrial production. We have here filigree table, another one of uh, the best sellers of the collection. You see different styles of chairs. We have uh, alpha chairs, uh, uh, globe up, we have Chelsea, but again, uh, we have here uh, first the picture. We have uh, uh, less table, less less table, an iconic piece of our collection designed by uh, Jean Nouvel, together with the Monte Catini chair by uh, Gioponti. We have the Gatwick table to get by Rodolfo Dorgodoni together with the woody chairs by Francesco Meda. So every time you see that many designs come with the mix together in the same area of a different designer, which is really something unique to have so many important brands and names here. We have a beautiful masterpiece again by Patricia Orchiola, Steria Stable, around the table where the manufacturing technique and the craftsmanship in woodworking, it's something which really highlights the expertise of Molteni in woodworking and the exclusivity of the woodworking technique, together with the chairs by Eric Levy, outline chairs, or here, another beautiful project of 2019, which is a table by uh, Foster and Partners, our other table, just to give you an overview uh, of just a few of the different collections we have uh, in our range. And then we move to loose furniture pieces, which can be used in different areas of the house a lot of pieces that can also be used as room dividers. So we have here an amazing picture of our Ava bookcase designed by Foster as well, which is perfect to be used against the wall, but it's amazing when it is used in a context of a room divider as you see it here. Not necessarily, once again, in the living area, but also in a big master bedroom configuration to divide a relaxed area for reading from uh, the sleeping area. We have the nice collection Theorema by Ron Gilad, another masterpiece in terms of manufacturing technique. 
what I'm trying to do with this presentation is uh, just to try to get uh, your attention and stimulate your curiosity. Uh, because what I really hope is uh, to see you soon here in Italy to visit our company. We are currently renovating our showroom and all our compound to make it something unique to visit, uh, a unique experience for all of you that uh, will come hopefully soon once this uh, uh, pandemic will will be finally over and uh, we could uh, we can leave it uh, at the back other interesting pieces here you see showcases where once again uh, the manufacturing technique is the protagonist uh, the attention to detail here we have these uh, showcases uh, by uh, Ron Gilad I see that someone is uh, asking questions. I will leave a Q and A at the end of uh, this uh, this presentation. We have a Quinton sideboards by Vincent Van Doysen, together with the full set of uh, coffee tables, so different items. And then we move to something which is a part of our icon, icon, an icon in the world of design. Like here, for example, the um, graduate bookcase by Jean Nouvel, a mix uh, of uh, design and technology with a lot of engineering to create bookcase where all the weight of the composition is uh, suspended and floating uh, starting from uh, the top shelving system. We have here some iconic pieces from the past. Some icons which are still part of our collection, like Piroscafo, designed by uh, Aldo Rossi and Luca Meda, or Carteggio. Both of them are still part, are icons, part of our history, but still in production today. So just to show an overview of the wide collection. Moving them to our upholstery collection, which is increasing every year with the addition of new sofas and armchairs. Here we just show you some of the most successful projects of the recent years. Here we have a poll by Vincent, by Vincent Van Doysen together with the young tables. Another bestseller in the collection still today, it's Turner, so totally different shape, but totally different design, but also different typologies of comfort and ergonomics in order to have a range which is able to satisfy different needs from the clients, different needs in terms of design, in terms of space, modularity, and ergonomy as well. In this case, we also have an adaptable back section section which allows to modulate the depth of the seat depending on the use of the sofa or the height of the people sitting on it. We have then Albert, Vincent Van Doysen, another recent project uh, two years ago, together with uh, the Elena armchairs, swivel armchairs by Vincent Van Doysen again. Something totally new last year, uh, Gregor Sofa, again uh, Vincent van Doysen, another full concept. What I'm trying to show you is uh, the different typologies of uh, collections, uh, really to show how wide is uh, the potential. We perfectly know that it's impossible in a showroom, uh, even in the biggest one, uh, in the bigger showrooms and flagship stores we have in the world, it's impossible uh, to display all the collection. It's something that uh, we are far to be able to do even in our showroom, in our corporate showroom, since uh, the collection is really wide. But it's just uh, a presentation meant to stimulate you to uh, to open up our catalogs and we are 100% sure that inside the wide collection you always find the right answer to make your client happy. Here we have a totally different example of sofa. So never in our collection, there is a never a contrast, a contrast, and never a competition in between the different models. 
Every model has uh, its own characteristics in terms of design, ergonomy, and uh, uh, reference potential uh, potential clients. And, uh, here we have uh, a project uh, by Yabu Puschelberg last year, our surf sofa. So once again, uh, you see a totally different style of picture and uh, uh, design including in uh, the upholstery collection we also have uh, a lot of armchairs and uh, here we have for example Kensington collection by Rodolfo Dordoni we have Hélène by Vincent van Doysen again uh, uh, Rodolfo Dordoni with uh, the Chelsea collection Gillis uh, by Vincent van Doysen another masterpiece where from these pictures uh, you can uh, immediately appreciate uh, the different uh, working techniques uh, to create uh, this uh, kind of uh, this kind of uh, product woodworking technique but also the capability to work uh, with uh, uh, with bonded leather and then we move to night systems uh, for example glissmaster glissmaster is uh, our uh, uh, wardrobe collection a system which uh, has uh, today 15 typologies of different doors uh, but just wait for uh, the next news it means uh, that we have a system where all the structural elements all uh, the quality the attention to detail and to technologies uh, is always the same for any typology of a wardrobe you can modulate your offer depending on the, the budget and the taste of the client creating big compositions up to this solution introduced last year with the Sistema 7 where we can uh, present uh, a wardrobe including also a, a door which allows the passage from one room to the other and it's perfectly integrated uh, uh, in between two wardrobes going to more simple uh, solutions like uh, a normal two modules wardrobe with the wooden doors wide range of finishes and options so you can uh, mix and match different typologies of doors uh, just to create uh, areas with uh, a section with the glass doors where you put uh, your the client can put his uh, uh, most uh, important pieces, his uh, most important uh, uh, dresses, and another part of the wardrobe which can be closed. In this case, uh, you see the wardrobe integrated into a niche. Can also be uh, our wardrobes are fully freestanding, so there is also the possibility to create solutions uh, as room dividers or partially room dividers with a fully finished rear paneling, or like what you see in this case with the glass back panels, giving the total transparency in between two different areas of the house. And again, we have uh, uh, different typologies of sliding doors uh, from regular sliding up to uh, coplanar sliding. Again, a patented mechanism which allows uh, with uh, a very small effort to open up uh, doors up to a width of 147. So opening with the two sliding doors, a very wide module or closing a three meter wardrobe just with the two uh, coplanar sliding doors. And again, here a freestanding glass uh, wardrobe with the glass backs, which is not necessarily, as we have said for uh, the living area, also the wardrobes are not necessarily limited to the bedroom area, but they can, uh, uh, they can be used in different contexts. For example, here you have a configuration which could be perfect also as a vitrine, as a showcase, or as a showcase in a boutique, for example. Wide range of accessories, attention to all the technical details, uh, patented hinges, uh, uh, a full range of internal accessories which allows uh, to customize the project depending to uh, the budget of the client uh, and uh, the tastes of the client. 
in addition to Blitzmaster, we also have, of course, uh, the uh, walking closet version, which is our master dressing. So a wall mounted solution, which can be used alone to create the walking closet or in combination with the Gliss Master, since the finishes and the modularity of the two systems are perfectly compatible one with the other. Here you have another option where exactly you have on one side a wardrobe and inside we create a box to create a walk-in closet room. Of course, beds, a collection of upholstered and wooden beds of different typologies, including all the night tables and drawer units, moving from one style from the other to a totally different design. In this case, we have 12 AM, a project of last year, a collaboration with two Asian designers, Maria Wu, with a totally different flair from the models we have seen before. So trying really to have a collection we can, which can satisfy all the different needs in terms of design, age, taste. And then we have our heritage collection, Gioponti. The collaboration of Gioponti is for more 10 year recent collaboration. Starting in 2012, we signed an agreement with the heirs and with the archives of Gioponti, and we included in our range this very special collection, re-editing some pieces of the Gioponti collection. Here you see some of the armchairs, you see a coffee table. All the pieces have been re-edited. Here we have the table designed for the Tiny Life building in New York. All these pieces, as I was mentioning, are made and produced according to the original designs of Gioponti. We cannot, of course, change what was the original project of the designer. And they, they all come with a certification of authentic, authenticity. Is amazing. It was an amazing operation of Molteni especially investing in uh, uh, designs uh, which all date back to the 50s and look today so contemporary and so perfectly integrated in uh, the most recent collections. In the Heritage Collection, we also have uh, some pieces uh, taken out from our museum where we have uh, some of uh, uh, the pieces uh, uh, designed uh, again in the 50s, uh, presented in our museum, and then uh, the company in 2015 uh, decided to re-edit some uh, uh, products uh, which uh, just remained over the years of prototypes, and then uh, that we decided to launch in the new collection. I go very fast because I see that we are already over time. A carpet collection, Molteni carpet collection. So as we said at the beginning, we have a full collection which also includes decoration items to style up your showroom and a full range of carpets designed by different designers, by Nicola Galizia, Vincent Van Dois and Patricio Urchiola, uh, offering different styles and which uh, are not to be considered accessories but are part of our collection. And then, of course, we also have a bed dressing collection. Quickly, last part of our journey today is talking about Dada. Talking about Dada, I will go very fast through the history. We have seen that the company has been incorporated in uh, the Molteni Group in 1979, but we are talking about uh, a company which was already existing since 1926, so a long uh, history. Uh, in the 50s, uh, uh, the sons of Angelo Garavaglia, the founder of the company, joined the business, invested a lot, moved the production to high-level kitchen production. This was uh, the first log of Dada, and uh, uh, especially for uh, people living in Italy, this logo is uh, really very familiar. I still remember I was a kid uh, and I still remember this logo present in many magazines of the time. 
In 79, the Molteni family acquired Dada, starting the production of high-end kitchens. Uh, Luca Meda designed one of the iconic kitchens, which is uh, still in production today in 1994, our Banco Kitchen. Interesting, another important collaboration for us was uh, the collaboration, the partnership with Armani, which started in 2008 when uh, uh, Giorgio Armani approached uh, the Molteni family launch his first kitchen model and we then started with the production of this kitchen which was called the bridge designed by um, Giorgio Armani and produced by Dada. First time that the Armani brand is directly connected with another brand so creating a kitchen line, a kitchen collection which includes today three different models branded Armani Dada, very high level uh, kitchens, which can be present in the same Dada stores or eventually only in dedicated stores. Just a very quick overview of all uh, the models of kitchens we have, and then uh, uh, we stop because uh, I'm already over time, I see, even if uh, I had a lot of uh, other things eventually to with you. So the collection of Dada is uh, today uh, a wide range of uh, high-end kitchens. Same uh, uh, logic that we have in Molteni. We can have uh, with Dada some entry-level kitchens. Here we, we have uh, in Dada, which is considered uh, our entry-level kitchen designed uh, by, in this case, uh, by Nicola Gallizia or we move to Prime, again another entry-level product. But as I was saying, as in Molteni, whenever we talk about entry-level, we are not talking about different quality. Quality is a must, is a sort of mantra for the family and for all the people working in Molteni and Dada. So even when proposing an entry-level solution, we work on different finishes, we work on materials, but whatever is the structure, the hardware, the construction materials, the quality are exactly the same from the entry-level product up to the top of the range. Prime, a quite recent project two years ago, very successful today. Highline, we move in uh, the uh, entry level mid range with uh, this uh, project by Ferruccio Laviani, proposal of uh, uh, a kitchen with the groove handle, which is uh, becoming, which is today a must, the most popular. Out of Highline 6, we developed the Highline 6 frame where all the base elements. Uh, these doors with an aluminum profile all around the doors. We move up a little bit in, uh, in our range with uh, Trim by Dante Bonuccelli, a kitchen where details are extremely important, a, uh, a thick door with an integrated handle which looks like a profile but it's a, a handle with the possibility to have um, an accessorized backsplash to be fully accessorized. Uh, Vela, another uh, special project by Dante Bonuccelli, where in this case uh, the expertise and the ability to work uh, with the wood and different materials that comes out uh, uh, totally in the configuration, in the construction of the door, which is a 13 millimeter thick uh, door composed of different layers of uh, aluminum and MDF. So a composite door, which is very thin and where the construction and the technicality is very top range. Up to the most re recent uh, project by Vincent van Doysen, first kitchen designed by Vincent van Doysen for Dada, the VVD kitchen, 
here in a very beautiful materic construction uh, configuration where the mix of materials, which is so important for Vincent, comes out in its uh, full expression with uh, metal doors in this uh, acciaio ferrovia finish for the doors together with the wood and the stone top so always a mix of different materials and then we still have a banco by luca meda one of the iconic pieces still in the collection ivali another patented uh, door by by dada where we have the possibility to create a kitchen and totally hide it to uh, to the visitors so a fully equipped and working kitchen which can be hidden behind the doors which slide on the sides and so they, uh, they do not create any bulky space in the front but leave a totally accessible the internal uh, kitchen up to the most recent model of the collection, which is Razio. So a general overview of all the different models in the Dada collection, hoping to have given you a total overview. We just see also the three models of the Armani Dada collection, Bridge, the first kitchen designed under the Armani Dada uh, brand name, checkers, and a slide, all of them together in production. Of course, uh, uh, we provide a series of uh, marketing tools that you should have not all of them, but some of them in all your stores in order to have a wide choice of materials, textiles, and finish samples in order to help you in your daily activity. And uh, we have a customer service uh, service always available for you to get more information. And uh, here is another possibility to have a display of, uh, um, of uh, samples. Of course, as we said, a full support in the different companies with customer service, people dedicated to training, as uh, myself, uh, Armando and Andrea, I know that most of you have already seen also participated to their uh, webinars. Uh, a software system, which is uh, our PGRECO software system, helpful to calculate and make uh, proposals uh, of our kitchens, uh, full set of uh, catalogs, uh, price lists, uh, and uh, marketing materials uh, at our disposal. Um, we end up uh, with uh, an overall uh, picture regarding our catalogs that should be available in all your showrooms today. And one of the images of our institutional advertising campaign. As we said, we are very, uh, very keen in presenting a very consistent and coordinated lifestyle concept and uh, uh, also in terms of advertising and communication we have our own advertising campaign of course you can get in touch with the company for any additional information on the side of uh, uh, communication and uh, um, and branding since we are over time, I stop here the presentation and I leave the possibility to uh, all of you to, uh, to make questions. Okay. I open up the chat. Let's see.
if you have uh, any specific uh, questions regarding uh, the company. I see some nice uh, comments of uh, friends and people I know. So <laughs> I say hello to everybody. Uh, just wait a few minutes more to see if uh, there are any additional uh, questions. Uh, I apologize if I have been so quick, but really the group has uh, so many possibilities, uh, so many uh, topics uh, to be discussed uh, that, that this idea was uh, just uh, a general presentation. Of course, all uh, the training team as well, all uh, the sales team uh, of uh, Multani and Dada are available for, uh, for any direct contact to get more information and uh, detail. So I see a lot of thank you, but of course uh, I do thank you very much for uh, having attended this, uh, this presentation and uh, really hope uh, to see you very soon in uh, the next webinars that we are going to organize. I see that uh, we have uh, someone of you who uh, raised the hand, so I allow to talk to the people who raised the hand. So I start with Rosa, which is unmuted right now, so you can talk. Rosanna? Rosanna, I can't, uh, we can't uh, hear you. So if you can write your question, uh, it's uh, the best way. Because let's see, Rosanna. I can't unmute you, so I can't hear you. So if you if you wanted to write your question in the Q&A section, we can answer to you. Okay, I see she doesn't have a microphone. So if you wanted to write your question, otherwise it's impossible to hear you. Okay, so I see no incoming questions. Uh, whoever wants to get in touch, uh, you can get in touch directly to my, uh, to my email address or to the webinar address from which you received uh, the invitation for this webinar. So if you send your questions, we will be glad to answer to you. So once again, uh, thank you everybody for attending this uh, presentation and uh, hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.